slavery was stopped because of Christian influence, whether it was the influence of Wilberforce, one man who gave so much of his health and sacrificed even his career in a time when it was very unpopular to fight the slave trade. He stopped it in Great Britain. In America, the anti-slavery movement was dominated by Christians as well, all because of the reasoning of the sixth commandment that we are all created equal in God's sight, that no one, as a result, no one has a right to rule over somebody else without their consent. Every Christian, every Christian, every Christmas to this day, we sing an abolitionist song that grew out of that time. From all holy nights, chains shall he break, for the slave is our brother. That's the sixth commandment. That's Genesis 1. And now Christians need to be voices to fight racial tensions as well. Racism is a direct attack on the sixth commandment. Racism essentially dehumanizes people. Rather than seeing the heart of God, the sacredness of every human being, racism looks at the external, focuses on the flesh. We're all familiar with Martin Luther King Jr.'s quote, I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where we, they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. That's a biblical dream, not a secular dream. Aristotle and Plato considered those ideals folly. Nietzsche called it poison. Sadly, we are moving in this nation away from the ideals of Dr. King and the Bible and more toward Nietzsche. While the sixth commandment would say there are no races, Genesis 1 teaches us there are no races. You realize that, right? All these people who want to divide us by race. Biblically, there are no races. There's one race, made in the image of God. 